Well, U.S. Senator Tammy Baldwin calls broadband service a necessity, and she is doing her best to push expansion. Local 5's Chris Schuler brings us the findings from a roundtable discussion among local and state leaders about better Internet access. At NWTC, a roundtable discussion on the need for high-speed broadband service. Clearly, it's, if broadband is not a luxury, we, we liken it to um, a highway. Between Senator Tammy Baldwin and leaders in education, health care, and the business community. What we heard is a lot of um, resolve to get this done. According to the White House, nearly 14% of Wisconsinites live in areas without acceptable high speed broadband service. Baldwin hopes to change that through passage of the bipartisan infrastructure framework, which would mean $65 billion for high speed broadband networks in the U.S. We uh, are expecting, if we're successful in passing these bills, um, to have additional funds to help really build out broadband to those, especially in rural areas, who don't have access at all. The pandemic pointed out many shortcomings when it comes to Internet access in the state in rural communities like Calumet County. Um, we know some of the folks who were impacted during the pandemic were really not able to work remotely because they didn't have um, the, the access at home. The director for economic development in Calumet County says reliable broadband would be a game changer, attracting more residents and businesses actually keeping people in the county. The, the, the positive, potential positive impacts through broadband are really um, countless. Everybody, I think, is on the same page in understanding how important it is to be able to get all families access to this critical, you know, utility. The Senate is expected to take up the legislation when they return to Washington next week. In Green Bay, Chris Schuler, Local 5 News. Senator Baldwin also announced New North Inc. received a half million dollar federal grant to identify and figure out why there are gaps in internet service here in Northeast Wisconsin.